strong. So, Medo, this is the fifth year that you are in Cyprus? Yes, yes, this is the, the fifth season that will start for me. Yeah, it's been a long journey, but uh, I'm very happy to be here. I find this place as my home and me and my family are very happy to be here. You like Cyprus, huh? Yes, yes, it's a very nice country, very beautiful country with uh, very warm people, helpful people. With the character there, they remind me of my country, of Serbia, so I feel uh, very welcome here and I enjoy it. Okay, we have similarities with... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think the, the character is, is very similar and uh, the people are always warm and, and welcome, they are really helpful. Uh, the only thing that I like more yeah. of uh, Cyprus when I compare it to football is that the, the fans are much more passionate than, than our fans. They really live for, the, for their club and for football, mm -hmm. so that makes uh, much more interesting and uh, uh, much more fun to play. Sure, that's good. You miss your country? To be honest, I'm already... I think it's... I left my country 1st of January 2012. So it's been 11 and a half years. Mm. So I... Uh, after the first or second year, I forgot this uh, nostalgia, I would mm. say. So I cannot say that I, that I miss it too much. Uh, what I miss from my country, of course, is my family, my parents, my uh, sister, friends that are there. Um, this is the thing I miss the most, but as a country, no, I was living in Germany a lot of years, now I'm yeah. in Cyprus, so to be honest, I, I, I got used to this country and uh, this is also home for me. Okay, in which age did you start to live alone? It was when I, when I left Serbia and when I went uh, in Germany, when I signed for uh, Wolfsburg. Yeah, when I was playing in, in Serbia, I was still living with my, with my parents. Uh, I became professional with, with 16 years, I started to play for the first team. With 18 years, yeah, I signed my first professional contract, but still I was living with parents. Oh, okay. and, and you know, it's a differ different situation when you live with your parents. Mother makes everything, uh, <laughs> takes care of you. When you, go, when you go abroad especially, out of your comfort zone and when you start living alone i think that's when you when you start becoming a man when you need to do all the things by yourself yeah, you so up. yeah yeah exactly you grow up so that was the first time with 21 21 yeah. you take all the responsibility by yeah, yourself yeah it was yeah easy for you or no it was it was uh, it was quite difficult i must say i went uh, from one let's say low league like serbia is it's not low, but it's not uh, in the focus of, of Europe. I went to one top league, to one uh, totally different cul culture, to one mm. totally different country, where is the new language, everything new. And at that time, Germany was um, quite strict. You know, you need to learn the language as fast mm. as possible. And uh, it was, yeah, the first six, six months were a little bit difficult, uh, but... Um, it was a fantastic experience to, to get uh, to know the, the other country, the other culture, yeah. the language, and uh, to adapt with other yeah, football players. Yeah, exactly. And I think after seven, eight months, I, I started speaking okay the language and I improved and improved. And uh, it felt really nice there in Germany. Okay. How is to say the life of a football player? It's not an easy, an easy life. I think most of the people think and have an impression that it's very easy to be a football player, that you have a fantastic life and that it's not hard at all, that you have um, a lot of things where you can enjoy and when you earn some amount of money that you have much more possibilities, which is actually true, but a lot of them don't know the background story the sacrifice that you need to make especially in young age when you start playing football where nobody guarantees you that you will be successful and that you will become a professional football player so um, it's very hard it uh, requires a lot of sacrifice uh, very little free time uh, for yourself for your family and um, basically 
this is uh, a thing where every professional athlete needs to be prepared to, if he wants to to go for a professional sport it's very hard a lot of sacrifice but all this all this sacrifice all these things that you are not able to do when you are young when you are older for me all these things are worthy mm -hmm. because when you put it in scale and uh, when you have this pleasure to play in front of fans for certain goals at the end of the day it makes you really really happy and to be able to 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 make a living of uh, of a thing that you you really like the most in your life this is a, a very big privilege for me okay in which age did you realize that you want to be a football player Oh, it's hard. I, I mean, since I was since I was a young kid, I think when I was five or six years old, I started training football. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, of course, also when I was young, in this age, I said to my mother, to my father, I will be a professional football player and uh, I will take care of you. I will. Uh, uh. This will be my responsibility. But okay, I mean, a lot of kids say this in this young age because uh, every everybody has these dreams, and you always dream for big. So, but uh, the age when I when I actually realized, okay, here it can be something. I think I can manage to be in in, in professional sport. I think it was when I was fifteen. Yeah, when I was. When I was um, under 15 in, in my club in Serbia, I realized that uh, I'm maybe ahead of my uh, ahead of my friends, that I have maybe a little bit better perspective, and uh, I started pushing more. I told to myself, I, I want to give everything, I want to give it a shot, uh, to invest all of myself, and to see where it will take me. And Thank to God, it always went good, so I can I become professional? We have you with us. Yes. Uh, have you been a favorite uh, player for some coaches? I need to say, uh, generally, as a as a person, I'm I'm very um, hardworking person, which always tries to to give everything, and uh, not with one coach. I had some issues some fights i have basically with every coach that uh, has trained me a, a good professional relationship and uh, because as i said this is my character i always mm -hmm. try to to do what somebody asks me mm -hmm. to do i'm not the guy who will fight who will uh, try to make an disagreement. argument or disagreement yeah so i can say with with every coach i made a good professional relationship of course with some coaches this was on higher level better level with some coaches less but this is normal in 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 life in football in in every sport i say between the players how's uh, the relationship how do you manage to be uh, communicate with other players and uh... well, i think in in sport generally this is this is a very very important topic uh because I think that in order to have a successful uh, successful season, mm -hmm. good season, to manage to fulfill your goals, you need to have a team. And in order to have a team, you need to have a good relationship with the players. The players need to interact with each other. Nowadays, we live in, in, in uh, unfortunately, in uh, era of technology yeah. where a lot of... Uh, Young generations want to spend more time on the on the phone, on the social networks. Uh, I mean, I have also children, two young children, yes, so you know uh, I know how it is hard to keep them out from this. But uh, this is a very important thing that the old players interact, that they uh, find bond between each other, mm -hmm. because eventually it will lead to be a, a good team, and a good team can always make uh, successful results. Are you a good listener? Have you do you have a mentor, for example, or somebody that you admire? No, I don't have a, a mentor. I always try from from uh, especially from uh, older people to to get an advice mm -hmm. because they have more experience, of course. And uh, I would say that I look up to my father. Uh, he is like my. Uh, um, 
Not to say idol, yeah, but mentor. I uh, he's like uh, human values. I I try uh, also to be like this, and uh, he's a very important person in my in my life, my family. I am very uh, very close to them. I mean, it cannot pass one day that I don't call my mother, father, sister, um, now my wife, also children to see. I'm I'm very attached to the family, and for me, this is above everything. So uh, I try to listen from them uh, a lot of advices and uh, to put it in my life. For sure. Have you ever uh, been you or have you ever seen a uh, situation like uh, bullying or like uh, racism? Or... Yes, of course. I mean, this is, this is a very sensitive topic and um, I think with the years it's happening more and more and uh, for me this is a very big disgrace and I'm the guy who thinks that with daily talking with lots of talking especially now with younger generations with children this thing this topic can be avoided but it needs time it needs time for the parents to talk with their children to advise them how should be done what should be done and uh, this thing uh, needs to needs to vanish. It's it's very uh, very big shame that it yes. exists and that it's not uh, a better situation. Uh, do you notice uh, any uh, racism or bullying uh, situations uh, inside the football? Yeah, I mean, depends. I I, I would not say it uh, a bullying. I mean, football is a uh, like every other professional sport, maybe football more, it's very, it demands a lot. And sometimes you will meet uh, a coach maybe who will uh, rephrase himself, maybe not so good. He will tell maybe some words that are not acceptable nowadays. But yet, at the end of the day, you know, a player needs to be very mentally and physically strong. And in order to be mentally and physically strong, my opinion is that it needs to talk always with his family, with his close friends, not to keep some things inside, to let it out. And um, with this, it can be solved a lot of things. I mean, it's not an easy sport, football. You need to, uh, you need to suffer a lot, but it is how it is. <laughs> you are a captain, you've been before. Is it a reward or a responsibility? Both things, reward and responsibility. Uh, for me personally, in my behavior, in my attitude on the pitch, of the pitch, uh, it will not change nothing because I am who I am. And uh, if I have a captain's armband or if I don't have, I will always be the same. I will always try to give my maximum and to, to help the coach, to help the other players, to help the team, but it's a big privilege. Uh, like I said, I'm here fifth season, this club means something to me, I feel uh, like home here and uh, it's, a, it's a very big privilege for me that I can be a captain of such a team with such an history and fans and uh, it makes me very happy. Okay, so all your family now is with Ael? I'll fans. <laughs> yeah, my family is always a fan of the club where I play for. Uh, yeah, I mean, my boyhood club is, is, is Vojvodina from Novi Sad, where I grew up, where I started playing football. And this is the club that I am attached to most uh, because for me it's something special. But um, I would say IL is, 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 is there because I, I have spent here wonderful years and uh, as I said, all of the people in the club, uh, all of the fans, since I came here, they welcomed me, they uh, supported me, they pushed me. And uh, this is the reason why I always try in every training, in every game, to give some percentage back to them. It's not possible to, to give them everything back because they are really fantastic. But um, I try also to, to put to, to another players, especially to another foreigners that come to know the the, the heaviness of the badge mm. uh, because it needs to mean a lot to 
to all of the guys that are coming. They need to know the history of this club. They need to know whoever comes to this club needs to feel the pressure because this is a big club with big tradition and there needs to be a pressure because the goals are always high. And uh, yeah, that's what I try to, to, to tell them, to implement in their heads that they need to respect this badge and give every day all that they can for it. Okay, and maybe to have a season ticket for the team? <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, last season was, was fantastic uh, regarding the, the amount of fans that we have. And for me personally, this was the first year uh, where uh, C file was present on the on the games, and it makes an enormous, enormous push for for all the team. Uh, it it really means a lot, and it's it's a pleasure to play to play in in front of these fans in a, and in front of this amount of fans every yes, game. For sure. So, thank you. Hope to see you uh, in the field strong. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Okay.